Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to learn how we can use or add a Visual Force page in the Salesforce Lightning Web Component. So first let me show you a demo in which I have added a Visual Force page in a Lightning Web Component. So right now I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning. So first I will show you the Visual Force page that I have added in the Lightning Web Component. So here I am on the setup of Visual Force pages and this is the Visual Force page that I have added in the Lightning Web Component. So first let me show you the preview of the Visual Force page that I've created. So this Visual Force page is basically a contact form and in Salesforce it is comparatively easy to create a form using the Visual Force page instead of Lightning Web Component. So for example I need to create a contact form in the Lightning Web Component. So instead of creating that in LWC I will use this Visual Force page contact form in the Lightning Web Component. So let me show you the lightning web component also in which in which I have embedded this contact form. So this is the lightning app page where I have added the visual force page in this lightning web component. So let me show you that when I open this page in the edit mode in the lightning app builder. So when I select this component it will show. So this is basically a lightning web component that is contact form LWC in which I have added the contact form visual force page that I have shown you earlier. So let's see how we can add a visual force page in the lightning web component. So first I will create a sample visual force page and then add it to the and add it to the lightning web component. And then I will explain you how you can add an existing visual force page in the lightning web component. So here I am back on the setup page of Salesforce lightning and from here we will navigate to the visual force page setup because first we need a visual force page that we will use in the lightning web component so here i will show you so here we will create a new visual force page so i'm going to label it as so here i have named this visual force page as a custom lwc page and make sure that you activate this checkbox available for lightning experience and here in the visual force markup tab you can see this code editor so here we will design the visual force page so here you can see so by default you can see there is already some code is there that is h1 tag is displaying the congratulations heading and below that there is a text there is a new this is your new page and when i click on the save this page will be saved and when i click on the preview button so here you can see the message at the top of the screen so this is what this visual force page will display so here we will modify the code a little bit so for that i will click on the edit button so here I will change the h1 tag to welcome to visual force page. So here I'm going to add a form in this visual force page where a user can enter the where user can enter the name and press the submit button. So for that I will use the tag apex form and for the input field we will use apex input apex input text and then label and now I will add a command button through which user can press the submit button. And here we will keep the value as submit and the action will be saved. And here I will close the tag for the apex form. So with this we have created the sample visual force page that we are going to use in the lightning web component. So here I will save this. Okay so here it is giving some error so let's check. So here we missed one code. So I will edit and again click on the save button. So with this we have created a sample visual force form that we are going to use in the lightning web component. So this is what we are going to see in the lightning web component. So this is the preview of the visual force page. And now we are going to add this visual force page in the lightning web component. So this is the VS code ID that I have integrated with my salesforce org. And if you don't know how to integrate the VS code with your salesforce org. Then I will mention a link in the description from where you can see. And integrate your salesforce org with the VS code ID. So here first we will create a lightning web component. So there are two options that either. You can select, you can right click on the LWC folder and select create lightning web component or you can press the keys control shift V then it will show the command palette and here you will select the option create create lightning web component. So as I click on this option it will ask me to enter the name. So I am going to name this component as demo visual force. So make sure that you enter the label of the LWC in the camel case. So I am going to label it as demo visual force. Here again press on the enter. So here you will see three files that is .html, .js and meta.xml. 
and one more thing that when you create the visual force page and when you open it on the preview mode you can see the you can see the url so here you have to copy the url from apex from the slash apex so this is what we are going to use in the lightning web component to link this visual force page with the lightning web component so make sure that you copy this url from the slash apex and again i will go back to the lightning web component so here first we will define the uis so to define the ui we will go to the .html file so to add the visual force page we are going to use the iframe tag with this we are adding the visual force page in the lightning web component so in the iframe i will enter source so the source is the url that i have shown you right now so it will be source equals to and then copy the url from slash apex and enter the same url over here and it will be in quotes so here i have also defined the width and the height of the visual force page in the lightning web component and here i will close the iframe tag so in this example we are only using and adding the visual force page to the lightning web component in the lightning web component so there is no logic to define in the js file and to make this component visible to the lightning pages we will set the targets so first i will make is exposed as true so to define the targets we will use the target packs and inside the targets we will set the target as lightning app page record page and the home page so with this setting this lightning web component is exposed and available for the lightning pages like we can deploy it over there so at last we are going to deploy this lwc component to the source org so for that right click on this lwc folder and then select deploy this source to org so in the bottom you will see this deployment is going on so after successful deployment you will see this success message that that sfdx deploy this source to org successfully run and now we will go to the lightning page where we want to deploy this lightning web component in which we have used the visual force page so here we have opened the lightning page in, in the lightning app builder and here we will search the lightning web component that we have created so the lightning web component was demo visual force so I, so I will add it over here so as you can see this is the visual force page that you have created and it is added in the lightning web component that is demo visual force and here i will click on the save button and go back to the lightning page so here you will see this is the visual force page that we have embedded in this lightning web component so this is how we can use or embed a visual force page in the lightning web component and now i will show you how you can use a existing visual force page in the lightning web component so the previous one we have created from the scratch so to add a visual force page in the lightning web component make sure that you have selected the checkbox available for the lightning experience and if it is not selected then open the visual force page in the edit window and from here you can select this checkbox and as i've told you in the previous in the previous example also that you need to copy this url from the slash apex so for example in this demo visual force lightning web component i want to display this contact form that i've shown you over here so what i have to do i have to copy this url from here and go to the html and paste it over here and now i will deploy the changes to the org and again i will go back to the lightning page so here click on the settings icon and open the page in the edit mode in the lightning app builder so this is the lightning web component demo visual force so so when i edit on the lightning page it will display the contact form that is the visual force page and here i will click on the save button to apply the changes and go back to the lightning page so here you will see the visual force page so this is how you can embed an existing visual force page in the lightning web component and to define the source path there are two options that either you can define the source directly in the html file or what you can do is go to the js file and here i will define visual force page url so instead of the html file i will define the source in the js file and then we will refer this in the html file so how we do that that so here we will take the name that is visual force page url copy it and here in the curly braces i will enter the name of the resource that we have defined so this is the second way by which you can define the resource of the visual force in the lightning web component and here i will also increase the height of the 
component because it was looking little bit congested so I will set it to 600 pixels then again we will save the changes to deploy the source to the org and again I will open the page in the edit mode because sometimes what happens when you uh, deploy the changes they don't appear until and unless you open the lightning page again in the lightning app builder so here you can see the changes are deployed and you can also see the increase in the height of the lightning web component so here I will click on the save button and go back to the lightning page so here you can see the visual force page is displayed in the lightning web component so this was all about the method by which you can use and add the visual force pages in the lightning web components and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye